Hey, what's up everyone? Jonathan Coates here. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a strategy that I'm now using to deploy and mass produce content for my website, content for my YouTube channel and everywhere else and every other platform on the internet. And this requires sheer brute force. So this is mass production and I'm just going to jump straight into it. So I'm going to open this folder that I have right here and I'm going to scroll. I'm going to go back a couple. I got, it's called content. So that's the title that I have of it. Now, right now I have a, over a hundred items in here with content for my niche, but I was going to say 101, but I think one of these is actually just a folder dedicated specifically for future content ideas. But yeah, just right now it's just a hundred folders and all of these inside each one of these has a folder for the thumbnail for the video. And then a notepad that has the title of the video, a description for the video and keywords. Now also I have a, Excel spreadsheet with each one of the titles for my videos. Man, I hate when it does that. I need to learn how Excel spreadsheet works. <laughs> but yeah, I just click off to the side and it goes back to normal. But I have all the different content ideas. So I'll just go ahead and pick one and then I'll copy that. And then I'll go into my content folder. I just click on content and then go to the search bar and then type in paste. And then it comes up. So if I say, hey, what video do I want to put out today? I just click on this, uh, what was that? How to optimize your blog post. And I'll uh, go to the keyword, I already got keywords for this. Um, and then I'll, I found that it's much easier to create a description and I'm able to just knock out like 200 words in like in, in probably two minutes after I make a video. So that's the case in, in this situation here. So like, yeah, I just come here, I'll grab the title, grab all the keywords, grab the des description, and then I'll have the video in here. Now, this is a method that I, I deployed in 2015, and I'm getting ready to do it again. And this is going to help me save a lot of time because I can spend more time just making videos and editing them rather than researching ideas, finding keywords, which takes, sometimes takes me like 30 minutes um, writing a description and all that stuff. And I already have templates ready to, ready to go. So all I got to do is just fill in the blanks, drag and drop. You know what I'm saying? So long as I already have the content created. Now, what I plan on doing, once I have all these videos created, it only takes me like, and so, so I'm not going to sit here and, and make all the videos over the course of like three to four days or, or, or a week. But as I go along, I, I do a, a lot of them. So like 30 to 40 of them, I do, I'll just knock the videos out in, in like a session, like probably a week. I'll just knock out like 30 videos and just spend time editing all of them but the plan is once i have all 100 videos as i go along I'm, i'll create videos on the fly once i have 100 videos wh what i'll do is i'll schedule them all out with the keywords with the descriptions with the titles i'll schedule them on youtube and they'll just drip out two times a week videos will come out over the course of think about it two videos a week that's if you got, i got 100 videos that's 50 weeks of two videos coming out of me doing nothing I don't have to make these videos I because I, I already put in the work. And then also you can do that on Facebook. You can also do that in the form of a newsletter for your autoresponder. A good example would be like AWeber or, or GetResponse. But if you have newsletters that go out, which um, let me just give you an example. If I click on Home Business Blueprint here and then click on Newsletters, each one of my uh, videos, and I'm still kind of um, making these, but each one of my videos, they have their own dedicated page on, on a, a website. Now I'm using Home Business Blueprint as the product that I'm creating. It's taking forever to load though. So I, as you see, I got the video here and then I have a, a place for the uh, headline and the sub headline and I have tools and resources mentioned in the video and then the text to go straight to my, um, my, my product. And then I got comments. So as you can see, these, these all uh, work in congruency with each other. So what I'm scheduling out on my YouTube channel, I'm creating newsletters and then scheduling out in my autoresponder email sequence, or I'm scheduling them out on Facebook. This saves me 50 weeks of time. So I just wanted to share the strategy, strategy with you. I know this sounds like a lot of work, but in, in actuality, it took me all day yesterday to come up with the titles. It's taking me I'm about halfway through the day now. And I got, I got about like a good 10 to 12 different um, videos with keywords on them. Now that just saved me 12 videos that I don't have to like sit there and try to find keywords for. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you this strategy. It takes some work, uh, sheer brute force, but is very much worth it. Now, last time I did this was 2015 and I put out like a hundred videos and I, I archived and I'm private, private all those videos just because 
the quality wasn't as where I wanted them to be. But some of those videos ranked really well because I took the time and put in keywords and optimized my on page as well as a lot of off page optimization like social signals. It, fr it freed me up time to do all the necessary work that comes after making the video, like the marketing side of it. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I just wanted to show you this strategy. I hope you find this helpful. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out my website in the description, jonathancoast.net. You'll see it down there. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.